So here's something I learned recently that I wish I knew a long time ago. So by default, you can use this preview to look left and right by holding down the left mouse button, but it's not a full preview because it only moves the head and the eyes. You can actually turn it into a full preview if you change some settings. If you don't know what this screen is, this is the physics scene blending settings accessible from the modeling tab. It's very important to learn because you're going to do a lot of stuff here. So to change settings, go to preview up here, settings of the cursor tracking. And so from here, you can see every parameter, its effectiveness, this little reflect checkbox, and this dropdown of inputs of what do you put in to make this parameter move. So by default, you have the eyeball X and Y from the left mouse button X and Y, as well as the head angle X and Y from the left mouse button X and Y. But to get a full preview, we want the body to move as well, and as the cherry on top, moving the Z angle as well. All you have to do, click on the drop box, left mouse button for this body X. You can even check the preview while this little window is open, and left mouse button Y and left mouse button Y for the body Y. So we're almost done, but there's another setting we can change to make it an even fuller preview. That's the Z angle. So since it wouldn't make much sense to tie the Z angle to the same input as the X angle, so that we can get a full preview of every angle, move it to right mouse button X, same for the body. Double check that this effectiveness is at 100%. Hit OK. Then you can see every time you open up this file, every time you go here, you can do this full preview, where with the left mouse button, the whole body's moving, and with the right mouse button, you can change the Z angle. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more of my stupid little Live 2D tips.